The island of Hispaniola, which Haiti shares with the Dominican Republic, sits atop, sits atop two clashing tectonic plates, the North American and the Caribbean, leaving it ripe for a quake of two day, Tuesday's magnitude. Now, the island is by no means the only hotspot for killer quakes. Here with other danger zones that you should know about, Dr. Arthur Lerner-Lamb, a seismologist at Columbia University. Doctor, good to see you this morning. Uh, let's start with this first one uh, in, in Haiti, in, in the Northern Caribbean, uh, like we mentioned here. Why is this uh, such a hot spot for earthquakes down there? Well, as you mentioned, this is the intersection and the collision uh, of two major plates, the interaction of two major plates, the Caribbean plate and the North American plate. This Caribbean plate is just squirting right through this gap. Yeah. And so there's a lot of danger along the Lesser Antilles through Puerto Rico and Hispaniola. Uh, next hot spot, of course, we hear a lot about California and uh, the San Andreas fault line there, correct? Well, here what's happening is that there's still the North American plate out here, but the Pacific plate over here is moving to the north relative to California. And that happens along the San Andreas fault. Uh, the third spot, um, Central and South America, runs from Central America right through South. Well, this is part of the so-called ring of fire around yep. the Pacific Ocean. And what's happening here is that elements of the Pacific plate and some, some smaller plates are diving underneath uh, South America, creating volcanoes, deep earthquakes, and some very damaging shallow earthquakes. And finally, uh, another hotspot starts in Greece, continues through Middle China. This really is the one that I think seismologists and engineers are most worried about. Uh, this is the collision of several major plates. The Indian Ocean Plate, the Arabian Plate, the African Plate are all moving north relative to uh, Eurasia. It's causing the Himalayas over here, but throughout this region are many shallow earthquakes and lots of population centers. Obviously, we pay most attention to California. We constantly hear the term, the big one. For Haiti, was this, as a 7.0, was this their quote-unquote big one? Well, the faults in Haiti that broke in, uh, in this particular event uh, had seen some activity back into the 18th century, yeah. the lat latter part of the 18th century, uh, and that's consistent. So we expect something like this every 200 to 250 years. So this is indeed uh, sort of expected in terms of being the big one. Is San Andreas Fault similar to, to this fault line? I mean, do they, do similar, they exhibit some similar characteristics? It's similar in the sense that the San Andreas and this fault are both what we call strike-slip faults. They're lateral faults. The earthquakes on these faults are shallow. Uh, they cause a lot of lateral shaking, which is particularly dangerous for buildings. And in that sense, they're very similar. And, and again, difficult to predict these things, obviously, with all the technology and, and as far as we've come over the years. But are there any uh, other factors that do exist that maybe the people at home don't know about? Is there a way to tell when an earthquake is maybe not far off or some type of warning system? Well, there's very little that uh, an individual can do to uh, determine whether an earthquake is coming. Yep. In fact, seismologists are, are trying to do that uh, around the world. But there are some elements of what we call early warning systems that are now being developed. Some of them are operational in areas like Japan. And there's an experiment in Northern California. There was a, a study about Haiti's fault line saying that within the next 20 years or so, something big could happen. What is, is the prognosis in California right now? It's been a number of years since a really major earthquake in California, but are there any studies that say, well, within 10 or 20 years? Uh, the U.S. Geological Survey and the Southern California Earthquake Center, which are consortiums of government and university uh, seismologists, have put together what's called a uniform rupture forecast. Yeah. And that provides probabilities for various segments of the San Andreas Fault. So that information exists. Doctor, thank you very much for taking the time. Good to see you. Quite we well. appreciate it.